Welcome back if you've seen us before. Welcome if you haven't. Today we're off in Ellie uh, camping and we're going to Gopsall Hill Farm campsite, which I've never been to before. It's in Warwickshire. And whilst we're up there for four days, we've got various things planned and hopefully we'll show you how great Ellie is. Bit of camping and see you on the move. As you can see, Ellie is packed absolutely to the gunnels. Got absolutely everything in there. <laughs> I bet we've forgotten something there. And there's our trusty cooler. MTV, welcome to my crib. <laughs> now you have to come forward like in a swooping motion. I'm swooping. You're not really, are you? You're just swooping into my crib. This isn't the double bed? I nearly went French. <laughs> <laughs> Shoe tidy. And the teenager. Gaming as usual. <laughs> Another door out. The uh, sitting room for where the weather's a bit ropey. The wardrobe and fridge area. <laughs> the vestibule. <laughs> I've always wanted to say that. Here we are. La Le Kishin. Oh, I did it. I went oh, French. Don't, went, don't go French. I can't help it. And Naomi is about to make hot dogs with the Ridge Monkey. I'm hoping she is. Anyway, I'm starving. I need the other one to be the, oh, no, I've got the frying pan there. to do the onions. I need to do the onions. You don't have to do onions if you don't want to. Well, I want to do onions. Um, frying pan's in one of the... Is it the yellow one? Is yeah. that one? There's all yellow as well, yeah. In there. Is that loaded up ready to go? No, do you want me to? All you got to do is press that down like that mm -hmm. and it's ready. All right. Exactly the same. Alright, let's have a look around then. So, don't go French. It has taken, oh, I'm not even going to exaggerate, it has taken three and a half to four hours to do everything to and set it all up. Nearly a divorce. <laughs> The tent was interesting because we kept starting the wrong way round and then we put the, anyway, it doesn't matter. It took ages and it was way longer than it should have taken. So, yeah, so let's have a look around the crib then in a bit more detail. We've got a nice little light up there. You'll see this later, some fairy lights going around. For a bit of ambient. <laughs> and mummy's in the kitchen where she belongs, look. Give, give the servant a wave. 
And then coming out, and there she is. Yeah, they're very sharp. Be careful, Ellie. Hello, Ellie. So this is the setup. Vermont L tent from Outwell. It is. It's got to be 14 years old. It's. 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 Yeah, it's got to be 14 years old. There's our Ellie sat there. There's the table and chairs, which obviously, we, while it's nice, it's, apparently it's going to be 30 degrees over the next three, three or four days. So we're well happy with that. We won't need to sit in Ellie and watch telly, I don't think. Which we could do. And the Wi Fi is on, that's what we're using as our Wi Fi. The three Wi Fi thing. And we're at Goss, Gopsall Hall Farm in Warwickshire, or just on the border actually of Warwickshire. Here's the tentlet. And this was, I think it was 22 quid a night. And that includes the full electric hookup, which we've got there as well. So for 22 quid a night, I think that's very good value. And if you have a look around that, you can see it's really spacious here. Really, really spacious. And then over there, they've got glamping. And then the other side of that, the building you can just see over there in the corner is a brand spanking new shower block and toilets. It is gorgeous in there. Really, really nice. And we're right under this oak tree. Let's hope it's not a widow maker, eh? So we're just about to have hot dogs and onions. When was the last time we ate? It was a while ago, wasn't it? Yeah, about... We stopped at about quarter to twelve. Quiet. And it's now 5.41, so that's a long time. And the most important thing, yes, in the kitchen, we have the loo. That's only for wee wees, by the way. We are not doing anything else on there. Just wee wees. I will show you the toilets and stuff later, but that is really, really. So we have our first camping meal, hot dogs. And they definitely look cooked. Although I've covered mine up with um, Extra cooked. copious amounts of ketchup. Look at this! <laughs> Barbecue, it's meant to Let be. Let me zoom like in. That. <laughs> <laughs> that's <just> fine. <laughs> Mummy, you did a good job, don't you hear us? Put it in the furnace. <laughs> Put it in the furnace. Like. I'm so hungry I could eat Mad anything, so I don't actually care. Mad what do you reckon, Mummy? My dad always taught me that it should be well done. Right, it's well I, because I'm so dirty from when I was setting up the tent. I don't know if you can see how dirty my feet are, but they are absolutely minging. So I'm going to go and test out and show you the showers. We'll have a little view on the way. Quite a nice sight this. See how rural it is? It's if you have a look on the map, I'll put a link in the description. You can see on the map that this is a proper proper working farm. And it's actually in the middle of nowhere. There is nothing around it at all. It is right in the middle of nowhere. 
which is quite cool if you like that sort of thing and over here you got obviously the water point and the waste and up here they've had built a brand new toilet and shower block which you'll see in a minute it looks like they've literally just finished putting the last bricks together and there's all the glamping tents that they got there's loads of them look I presume you can rent those already even though they were putting them up today they look like they're brand spanking new when first arrived there was about three and they spent the afternoon putting them all up probably the time they took to put all of these up is how long it took me to put one up one <laughs> so yeah there's the block as you can see the sun's not too bright in the screen it's all brand new look literally still building it oh lovely finish all stonework lights come on even when I approach it like so that's the men in there look not even sure what that's in there that's locked anyway it's down here oh disabled and then the ladies now look at the end I assume they're in there pretty much the same you look at these these are lovely ones. be interesting to see how warm it is in a minute. That's in there, you know. Anyway, you're not watching this bit. You know what you lot. I've got a shade. That shower. I've got a shade. I've got a shade that shower. That shower was gorgeous. Really hot. It's one of the ones where you press the button um, and then it slowly comes out. And I'd say it goes in about 30 seconds stints, something like that. But it's not a bad um, pressure. And it's nice. I think I just met the owner, a really nice bloke. He said the shower block there used to be a cow shed and it's taken him two years on and off to um, build it to what it is now. And these glamping pods that you see all around here are for a festival coming up this week. And they've all been put up especially for that. Quite Chilling out. Watching the tube. On the tube. Lost in transit, I love these. Just having a little walk around the area, I would say pitch number nine, if you're going to book online, <laughs> is probably one of the better ones. It's fairly flat and it's at the top of the hill, so whilst there's sunshine here, nowhere else on the site has got sunshine. So it looks like number nine or number eight at a push next to it are a good bet. There's a look at Ellie's side floodlights in action. <laughs> they work really well, don't they? I'll put one on each side. They're just literally off Amazon. LED 60 watts, I think, one each side. <laughs> 